Hello all and welcome to my channel, The Virgo Knows. I've been sitting here trying to figure out what should I do? What should be my, my intro, my, my fragrant, inspiring intro? Should I sniff things and say, this is the Virgo Knows, like the Eva Monroe, who has inspired me to have a fragrance channel among a handful of other people? Or Hiram, who has a skincare channel and he says, um, I post videos every single week <laughs> and he like shakes and then we all know Jackie Ina who's a jacket 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 so I don't have one of those yet so for now I'm gonna say the Virgo knows how about that no okay well as you can see this is all about Bath and Body Works the um, semi-annual sale that is going on right now. We are in the second week of the semi-annual sale and I have a bunch of stuff that I've purchased. And I have been so inspired and so guided and supported and helped by all the hauls that the other frag, frag heads are doing um, on YouTube because you can see what fragrances are at basically every store in every city and then some of the special offerings that come in other cities that you hope come in your city. So. Um, I am in Wisconsin and um, I'm going to show you what I got. I shopped mostly the first week and I guarantee you I have been in that store every day since this sale has been going on. I haven't always purchased something, but I live very, very close to a Bath and Body Works, so I'm always in there. So this is going to be my opportunity to share with you the things that I've gotten, give you my impressions, and then um, help give you some guidance or inspiration on the things that you purchase, so you kind of go into the store with a purpose in mind. Now, what I learned before I went into the store, because the advent of YouTube is so many generous YouTubers taking their time to share their passion for fragrances, and this store in particular, explain that when you go into the store, many, many things in the store, with the exception of the signature fragrances, which, which tend to be the stronger or more popular fragrances that sit back on the wall. With the exception of those fragrances, Bath and Body Works will bring out some of the um, more standard fragrances. They will bring other fragrances that they've retired out of retirement and in some cases create special packaging to create hoopla and excitement around um, the semi-annual sale just for this uh, event. So you walk in and you're gonna see the standard uh, scents back on the wall. There won't be, you know, extreme heavy discounts on them. They are discounted. They're like uh, buy two, get one free, buy three, get two free right now. So that's still a, it's a decent sale, but it's not semi-annual sale sale. You're gonna see sections of 75% off that means there's going to be oils there's going to be lotions there's going to be creams there's going to be mists that are 75% off the regular price typically nothing on those racks is going to be on those shelves is going to be over four dollars then you're going to see 50% off so the bulk of the products are going to be 50% off, which puts the items right around, you know, between seven and eight dollars. This goes for creams, you know, body creams, lotions, sprays, also uh, in many cases, candles and um, hand washes and just everything. So everything in the store. There's going to be some 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 of the scents that are going to be heavily discounted. Well, I decided before I even got there that my focus was going to be 75% off. If it's not on 75% off, I'm not buying it. I don't need it. So that is the strategy that um, I employed, and that's what I'm going to show you today. So uh, I will say, okay, my favorite that I purchased is from the Bath and Body Works Aromatherapy line, and it is the love scent in rose and vanilla the aromatherapy love by bath and body works in the rose vanilla scent i got in this scent 
the moisturizing body wash. This is sort of like the creamy, the creamy body wash. It's not a standard uh, gel. I got the moisturizing cream. I prefer heavy creams, but I also got the moisturizing lotion. And why did I get this lotion? Look at the bottle. It's glass and it is beautiful. It's beautiful. I, I struggled. I was like, should I get the lotion or should I get the cream? But I just ended up getting both because I just love the way this bottle looks so much. Um, so let's talk a little bit about this scent. It is very rose. And I typically don't like strong rose scents because it's just a little bit too sharp for me. And you know, like Outcast said, roses really smell like boo boo boo. They can, they can like strong, straight up rose scents. It's just a little bit too overpowering for me. It's not my favorite, but the blend of the rose and the vanilla. Oh, it's so special. It smells so good. Ugh, it smells so good. I mean, it's rose. It's straight up rose, but it, that vanilla, it softens it. It's almost like what I imagine uh, rose ice cream would taste like. I know that kind of sounds nasty, but you get the drift. When you have that blend of cream and something that's strong, it just softens it just a little bit. But it's definitely rose. And it's sweet. So I'll talk to you a little bit about what they say about this blend of fragrances and why this is in the aromatherapy line. Um, so the two notes that you're going to get are rose oil and vanilla absolute. So the rose oil is meant to inspire connection and self-confidence. This is directly from the back of here. So lift your head up high, ladies. And the vanilla absolute calms the mind to encourage relaxation. And they say, just breathe deeply for the best results. So what I love about this is that in the shower, this fragrance does waft throughout the whole bathroom and you are able to breathe it in and enjoy it. And then you come out and you slather yourself in these lotions in creams, one or the other or both. I love it. Now, the one thing that I was like a little bummed out about is that there wasn't a um, fragrance mist to go along with this one, but there wasn't a fragrance mist to go along with that one. But I was like, not to worry because I had this scent that I had picked up from um, Ross or TJ Maxx. Either one, Ross or TJ Maxx. And it is Rose, um, the brand is Rose, I'm sorry, Evelyn Rose. No, the scent is Evelyn Rose and the brand is Crab Tree and Evelyn. Now I bought this as a blind buy. It was in a box, so I wasn't able to smell it. It was 10 bucks. So I was like, whatever, if I don't like it, I just don't like it. But I thought the packaging was pretty. Now this is what I'm talking about. When you talk about like straight up rose, like I don't smell anything other than rose in this. This is a straight up rose scent by itself. This is not something that I would wear. It's not something that I would enjoy wearing. I just, I, it's just like a straight up rose scent. But I did find that when I paired this with this bath and body works lotion, it just gave a lovely, soft, elegant scent and it was a scent that lasted. So if you like rose and you want to combine the two, check this out. I've seen it online too. I paid $10 for it. I've seen it online for $80. So don't pay $80 for it. Find it somewhere for $10 if you can. Um, I got compliments the day that I wore this. I walked into one of my colleagues office and she said, you smell like really expensive today. And I'm like, I'm not little. Do you know this lotion was $3 and this perfume was $10, but I, again, I love it. It's, it was great. Okay. Okay. The next one that I want to share is Magnolia charm. Now Magnolia charm ended up being on the 75% off table, but in my city, 
it didn't start off that way. It started off on the 50% off table. And then as the 75% off table starts to dwindle down, like for instance, love was out there on the first day. It would probably be hard in my city anyway to find it. Um, so then Magnolia Charm ended up making its way to the 75% off table. This could be a cute little thumbnail. What do you think? Anyway, I got the lotion. I got the body cream and I got the spray mist. Now, the reason why I'm so heavy on like the lotions and creams is because I believe the combination of the spray and this is what will make this last. I don't believe in the spray by itself. Typically, you know, I'm thinking I'm going to spray this and then it's going to go away in 30 minutes. But I think if I put everything together, it'll smell great. And I generally am not gonna go for the body washes because I don't think the fragrance lasts. I think for aromatherapy, if you are um, just love to be enveloped in, in scent, I have other body washes that smell good. So I don't go for the body washes, but I do go for some of the sprays and some of the lotions. So this Magnolia Charm, let's talk about this a little bit. They do have the notes on um, the packaging, which is nice. Dewy Pear Blossom, Blooming Magnolia, Blooming Magnolia, and Fresh Cedar. Graceful blooms burst, signaling the first sign of spring. Creamy white petals, blended with sweetly scented sunshine, are nature's promise of the season to come. Okay, honey, let's talk about, let's talk about this Magnolia Charm, okay? Mm. Listen, I sprayed this in the store and I was like, I don't know if this lasts, but I have to have it. This smells, it's very floral, but it also has that fruity essence about it. And it smells kind of like cotton to me. It smells like, have you ever done your laundry and like say you used a, um, a laundry detergent that had a floral scent to it and your mom or your grandma or big mama put the laundry out on the line on a hot sunny day and as the sheets waft in the wind you got a scent of that detergent and the flowers from outside and the cotton from the sheets it just smells like fresh floral sheets like Ah, oh, it smell. This smells like rich women frolicking in a garden full of magnolias, eating pears, drinking pear wine, and complaining about their no good, cheating, filthy rich husbands <laughs> as they charge their credit card and order everything that they want. That's what this smells like. It smells rich. Floral. Ugh. Fruity. And entitled, my dear. That's what this smells like. Rich, floral, fruity. And entitled. So if you want to be any of those things, you're going to get. Uh oh, here we go. Magnolia Charm. Okay. All right. Okay, now next. This one is one that I initially walked past and then I came. Well, I walked past it the first time I went in the store. This is from the bake shop line. I think that's what they call it. Bake shop, right? So this is the raspberry jam donut. Every haul that I've seen, most people have picked this up or had it at least on their 75% off rack. I got the raspberry jam donut in the cream. I got it in the lotion. And for this one, I got it in the body wash. And 
I got the spray. Now, the reason why I got all of these is because this, this is not, this straight up smells like raspberry jam, which is something that I would not eat. Like, I get, like if I had a bagel, I wouldn't be like, mm, I'll pick the raspberry jam. If I had to eat it, I probably would eat it, but it's not my favorite flavor. And you know, truth be told, it's probably not my favorite scent, but it is so realistic and it's so sweet. Woo, child, listen. If you are a gourmand girl, meaning that you really like sweet sugary scents, this is for you. And typically, if you are a frag head, you know a lot of the sweet, gooey, sugary scents tend to last on your skin. And I'm all about performance. Like I want something that is gonna not only announce itself when I walk in the room, but I want it to stick with me all day. I don't wanna be keep applying lotion and spray. I don't want, I will do it, but I don't wanna do that. So will this perform that way? I don't know, but all the reviews from the other frag head said that this is the good one. So let's talk a little bit about the notes. Raspberry jam, wild raspberry jam, powdered sugar, and warm fluffy donut. This smells like jam. And it smells like that smell that you get when you walk in the donut shop and you can kind of smell the yeast and the sugar and the, the fluffiness of what makes a donut. That's what it smells like. It smells sweet. Woo, child, very sweet. This is very sweet raspberry. I, I think I have a toothache, it's so sweet. And it's donut, it's just, it just is raspberry jam donut. It's very literal. So I'm gonna slather myself in these. Now, when I first went in the store, I didn't get this for myself. I went in and I shopped and then I got a bunch of stuff. I, br I brought my daughter back who just turned nine. I brought her back and she got a bunch of stuff. Um, so she focused on the bake shop and you know some of the more uh fruity scent so she has her own little collection child yes she does yes she does so part of what is her collection is in her room right now i went back to the store and the good thing about the interesting thing about the semi-annual sale what makes it so addicting is that it changes so when you walk in that first day, whatever's on the 75% off rack is not necessarily the same thing that's gonna be there the next day. They like, it's like they pull stuff out of nooks and crannies and they, they find stuff and they put it out there. So I was able to find this whipped body foam and the strawberry pound cake. Now the whole strawberry line my daughter has, I got her the body wash, the cream, the lotion, the spray, and now she's gonna have this um, foaming body wash. Now this is not something that I would be excited to use, but when I looked at how it comes out, can you see? Let's see. <laughs> As I get it everywhere. But this is the soap and this is how it comes out. Woo-wee! And this smell just like a strawberry. So anyway, I was thinking if I was a little girl, I would get a kick out of it, you know, shower, you know, that being my shower, lotion or body body wash and it comes out like that so i got her this i thought i think she'll get a kick out of this whenever i give it to her we're going to add that to her collection now if you're interested in this line again most stores in most cities have had this line it's very likely that if you go this is still going to be there the notes on this are fresh strawberry golden shortcake and whipped cream now if you like strawberry shortcake and you've ever eaten it before Sniff that and that's exactly what this smells like. Very literal. Okay. All right. My next thing that I got that I really enjoyed. I don't know if they call this the coconut line, but I'm going to call it the coconut line. I, there was body creams, lotions, sprays, all with the title of coconut. Plain coconut, coconut hibiscus, coconut palm. Last but not least, coconut pineapple. Let me see if I can get all of them in there. Ooh, all four of them. First, I got some of the oils because that's that practical Virgo coming out, right? So I got the coconut. 
I got the coconut pineapple body cream, the coconut palm, and the coconut hibiscus. Now the coconut oil, it smells, body cream, it just smells like straight up coconut, okay? If you wear coconut oil on your body, you know it's a pleasant scent, but it's not offensive and it's not gonna stop you from rocking with anything else, right? Now I like citrus and I love pineapple. So this coconut pineapple, again, it's the same. It has that coconut base and then the sweetness of pineapple is very literal. It smells just like what it says, coconut pineapple. It's not strong, just ever so slight citrusy, um, pineapple sweetness to it. Now the surprise for me was coconut palm. I don't know nothing about palms. I live in Wisconsin, okay? So we have palms on Easter and we ain't got no palm trees, nothing like that, but I don't walk around knowing what palm smells like. This smells so sweet. Ah. Oh, it smells so sweet. So it's got the coconut base, but it has a, it almost smells like sugar cane or something, but like there's a greenness. There's something slightly green, but the green is producing this sweetness in the lotion. It smells really good. I, I was pleasantly surprised by that. And then the coconut hibiscus. So without even smelling it, you know, there's gonna be something floral about it. But this is a tropical, Mm. It's a tropical floral purple um it smells purple. I don't even know how else to describe it. It just smells like a It smells purple. What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't know, but it's that's what it smells like. I, it just smells, none of these are too much. I, I can't think of anybody that wouldn't like, like these, unless you just straight up just don't like coconut. I can't see why you wouldn't like these. Now to blend those, any of those with these oil, with these mists, right? Woo! Now this, the pineapple coconut mist, it's a strong, this is more pineapple than the lotion is. This is straight up pineapple juice, okay? You're gonna pour pineapple juice on yourself and go on about your business. I can blend those with any of those. And then this coconut lime. Oh, it's sweet. Mm, it smells so good. It's a sweet lime. It's not a tart, offensive lime. It's it's a lime that has been squeezed and had sugar crushed into it. And then you lick it. That's how it smells. It is a soft, gentle citrus, but very sweet. I love it. I don't even know what to say about it. I just love it. So again, I um, have not worn these all day to know how lasting they are, but I really, really, really like them. Um, I think I'm gonna do, so let's make that part one of my haul because this video is getting pretty long and I have some more lotions to share with you and I have some candles and some other stuff. So let's stop right here and then we'll upload part two so you can see the rest of what I got. Thank you so much for taking the time to see what I got in my little haul, my first Bath and Body Works haul. And to hear me trying to describe these fragrances, they smell so good. You know, this is the thing. Even if these don't last long um, on you, you can layer them with other perfumes that you find a little bit stronger. But to me, I find it to, to be the ritual of putting on oils and moisturizing your body and taking the time to celebrate yourself and encapsulate yourself in something that smells so good something that makes you close your eyes and say mm, that smells so good and you're rubbing that on yourself and you're celebrating yourself and you know you deserve that so 
things like this, you know, hey, 30 uh, at three dollars. I don't think I paid more. I didn't pay more than three dollars for any one thing that I bought. The combination, I don't know, maybe I've spent a hundred dollars in my whole, you know, all the things that I got. But you know, at three dollars a bottle, even if you are on a budget and you got ten dollars to spend, go in there and get you three things that you really want and um, enjoy those, you know. So, this is an opportunity for you to celebrate yourself and treat yourself and get something that you really want. So, that's the way I see it, and hopefully, that's how you see it too. All right, I'll be back with part two every single week. <laughs> every single week. <laughs> this is the Virgo Nose signing out.